Okay, ready? Yep. Hello, Magnetic Racing fans. I'm Ian. I'm Doug. I was going to say you're Doug, but Ian. Oh, wait, that's okay, right. No, yeah. you, you, you introduce yourself. That's it fine. Says, it says it here. Oh, well. yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 Your name's Think. Think Skeletric. <laughs> no, Magnetic Racing. Yeah, I'm Magnetic Racing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, anyway, we're here to show you one of our Reams products. Mm. Um, we like to show you our products um in as much detail as possible so that you can make the right decision they say a picture paints a thousand words so a video must be like a million words is that is that how it i'll probably get two million two million <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i bet we're basically trying to give you as much information so as possible you bought, bought for long, about three words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um <laughs> um this is the the reams uh, leaderboards. Um, Doug was mostly involved in designing this one, so I'm going to ask Doug some questions about it okay. <laughs> um, on your behalf, so you can understand it a bit more. So I'm going to go straight in with a hard one for Doug. Cheers, mate. What, <laughs> what was your um, what What did you want to get out of making this product? Um, I wanted to portray the detail of the product. When I looked at it in real life when we went to Reims, mm -hmm. and we studied it quite a lot when we were there, didn't we? Yeah. And then looking back on the pictures, was the amount of detail like in the rivets, the metal plates, they weren't all like on the same level. It wasn't just like a metal framework, rivet stuck on top, that was it. Yeah. There's when you actually look at this particular structure, there's there's like three or four different actual layers and thicknesses within the product. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to portray that. So for example, on the sides here, it's not just flat and the triangles um, like this. There's um, little plates stuck on okay. the ends. I'll put a picture or two up every now and again, just yeah. to, when he's talking about stuff, I'll, yeah. <laughs> I'll put a picture in front of my face because that we can hide that. Yeah, that's, good, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, yeah, and along here, it, this is, um, sort of juts out a little, a little uh, bit. Protrudes a bit. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. the rivets are on the inside of this section, but yeah. they're on the outside uh, of the main okay. vertical section yeah. here. Um, and just the way they are set like this. Yeah. And yeah, when I was looking at it, I thought, I've got to do this building justice mm -hmm. and try and replicate it as much as I can, but right, in so a way that you guys can still build it. Yes. So, you, you know, reasonably. Within the limits of what you can do with an MDF model kit. Yeah, model kit. Um, yeah, and then how the general public and all you guys can build it. I mean, we can make it way more complicated mm. but literally it'd be more near or impossible best the enjoyment build. of building it would be less because it might be a bit difficult yes yeah um, and it would really test our instruction skills yes <laughs> yeah, there is that yeah but i think with the final product is absolutely amazing i'm more than happy with it yeah um it, yeah it's just awesome i was looking at the pictures the other night actually just mm -hmm. random i was going Oh, I quite like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah and we, we do this all day, every day, making products. And yes. Yeah, I, I'm particularly happy with this, this product. Cool. Yeah. So, one of the things I remember you saying, you wanted to make it as customisable as possible. How have you mm. managed that for the customer at home? Yeah, so, yeah, I, what I didn't want was just it flat with uh, just the same numbers and letters on there, because it doesn't really mean anything to anyone. You pure Reams enthusiast, yeah, 100%. You can add, make it all exactly how it is on the famous pictures you see on Google. There's a couple of pictures on there, mm -hmm. the main ones, and then you can copy that exactly. All the pieces are there to do that. Yeah. But, so what we've done is uh, got the individual boards. Okay. Here with the numbers and letters. Yeah. And then you can change this. So, obviously, we've done number 44 for Lewis Hamilton. We've of done course. 63 for George Russell. Yeah. We've got a couple of our favourite uh, numbers that we uh, use as well on there. Yeah. And it's just customisable. And uh, the record of the lap, obviously, Ian Weir has got the lap record of, of Reams. <laughs> yeah, of, uh, I think it was that, yeah, of that, that, that time there. Yeah. So that makes it customizable for you lot. So what, I was thinking. Why, sorry, what, sorry to jump in there. Why are some of the numbers got a white board with black numbers and some of them black uh, boards? Because what, what, what's, what's the. Uh, what's the um, so the white numbers with the, uh, the. The white boards with the black numbers, I should say, are <laughs> yeah. the drivers. Okay. So that's the driver number. Okay. Um, so if you guys have got clubs or whatever, mm -hmm. then and you've got numbers associated with your races, then what you could do is actually put these numbers here. Okay. And the black boards with the white letters yep. are the amount of laps. Uh, Okay. <clears throat> so that being said, you don't have to use it for that. No. Nope. You could actually just flip these round and just write names on it. So we could have Doug Edwards uh, top. Yeah. Or first. Yeah. Or legend. 
Yep. Um, and then they'll, Ian Weir. Yeah, Ian Weir. But yeah, you could you could yeah, you could customize this how you want. Yeah. I can see people putting their race cars down oh. here for a picture, like yeah. for a club. Like uh, the, the club pictures, and they have like an almost like a podium. They could actually use this. Yeah. and change it every week yep. to, to and that would make an awesome picture yes. yeah that would be good especially if it was like a special event um, it'd be mm. really cool to have that if you've got like your, your year finale or you've done like a four hour endurance race yeah. that would be cool actually I yeah. didn't even think about that yeah one. Some, something like that again mm. these boards here you can I mean we've got it here like as it is in for reams but you could flip these over yeah and then just write your own words on it your own classification uh, yeah so you could uh, just cut out a piece of card essentially and whatever event you're holding or doing or mm -hmm. whatever your racetrack is called at home yeah you can change that. it to that if you email Ian nicely and say pretty please with a cherry on top he might even engrave he might even uh, engrave that onto the board for you and uh, yeah you could call it the Doug Edwards Raceway or whatever your raceway is called but you do have to ask him nicely yes okay um, and then he might just do that for you as well <laughs> yeah no that's um, not that's that's <clears throat> possible yeah uh, another yes. customizer you could rem leave all these off and then you could flip that this one mil section because this is one mil. This isn't just one sheet mm -hmm. of wood on the front. Um, it's made up of different layers. So this bit around here, you can take off, put the other around. It's completely plain. Okay. So if you wanted to go current reams, yep. where there is none of that on there, mm -hmm. you could have it like that. Oh, uh, so make if you're making like a diorama of as it is now. Yeah, it's more of a derelict yeah. reams. Then yes. you can flip that over. You can actually take all these letters out. Yeah. And then have them all completely empty. Yep. Um, while I'm on that, I feel like I'm waffling, but no, you know, no, it's good. It's, it's information. Yeah. It's good. So we see some of these boards. Where's my finger at here? In the <laughs> so some of these boards are missing. So this is obviously where the worker's taken a board out and he's got to change the number. Yeah. So what we've done is you can see some are missing. You guys don't have to have these missing. You can have them all um, cool. complete. So what we've got is a backing board behind. We'll sh Ian will try and put a picture up, or I'll flip this over in a minute. Is this would be your backing? So if you don't want a number there, you can literally just pull that out and you have a nice gap. So you can just, there we are. And it's as literally as simple as that on camera and that sticks on behind here and then you can have gaps wherever you want in the diorama to make it your own nice piece. So back in the day, yes. because obviously it's the modern day, it's all electronics, it's all screens. How did those numbers get changed back in the day? Um, so it was just workers behind. Okay. Workers behind. So yep. if I flip this over, or turn it around, I should say, not flip <laughs> it over. Um, so we, there's workers behind again. Hopefully you can see that well. Again, okay, we'll put some pictures on, but hopefully you can see it. And the workers, they have piles of these boards. Yeah. And then they literally put them on into the framework, okay. corresponding the laps with the driver, mm -hmm. um, with radios from the um, from the radio room. Yeah. Um, counting down the laps there. So this product actually comes with... Two of those guys. Two of these guys here as well. So, and they are sort of leaning forward, holding something. How are they? How are they? Holding. <laughs> <laughs> um, and again, you've got, you've got plenty of these boards that come with the kit. Yes, uh, more than enough. More than enough of all the numbers and letters. If there's not enough of what you need, again, just flip them over. You can just paint your own number on them. Yeah. Pretty simple. Uh, but yeah, these guys are there holding and you can glue like we have done here. The numbers in there, and you can really make that diorama come alive with whatever. Yeah, I can see you've you put some loose ones on the floor and leaning up. And yeah, some loose ones yeah, on the floor just there. Really cool. Um, the ladder yep. we've tried to replicate with the bits going up and in up inside and yep. at an angle. Yes, the uh, ladders at an angle. We've got a ladder inside as well, so okay. you can really stare at it and look into the building. And yeah. And again, see how it works in the real see world. See how it works. Um, again, no nodes, uh, but there's nodes that put gold together, but they're yep. all hidden. Yes. They're all hidden away uh, with the de detailing of all the extra bits that we've added on. Good. Okay. Well, I think we've covered all of it. Yeah. Um, oh, and um, so we can change all the numbers on there. Yeah. Is there anything else we can do if people don't want to paint all those individual, individual numbers? Yeah, because there, there are quite a few there. Yeah. Um, again, for enthusiasts, they, 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 you know, I know I do. I yeah. love painting all those and, and putting it all together. But yes, um, on the, uh, the product uh, page for this, there'll be a downloadable um, uh, PDF or file. Yep. You probably know more about that. <coughs> but yeah, that's what I've 
what would ideally happen and what's yeah so happen. the the famous picture's got a whole load of numbers on it um yeah. and we're going to put that on as a, a graphic for you to download and print for yourself if you want to do that instead of this option mm. um if you're any good with like it, it, it can be as simple as microsoft paint, paint if you've yeah. got that um or any apps on um on ipads and stuff these days if you wanted to change the numbers and stuff on there just rub them out put your number in and then print that instead yeah um they're it's all, all sized isn't yeah it? it's, all, it's all, all the right size everything yeah, all and the lines are there for you to get the numbers in the right place um so if you want to go for the slightly easier option you still want the detail of the whole building but you don't mind the numbers being a like piece the, of paper a piece, yeah, yeah being the generic numbers um, and you want the ease of putting that in there, then you can download that file from the instruction page and you can print that off and edit it, whatever you need to do. Yeah. So, yeah, good. <clears throat> yeah, if you've got any questions about it, um, comments below, we do reply pretty quickly to those mm. or send us an email on the website, um, contact form on the website um, or find us on social media, ask us a question through there, like yeah. PM us, uh, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. Um, give us a little subscribe, press the bell, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, um, this product is available now. Yeah. Um, Even comes with a fence, I should say. Yeah, the comes baseball, baseball and the on. fence. Yeah. Yeah. Just to finish the diorama off. Yes, it does. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, it's good. I like that that you added that. That was yeah. good. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. That's our Reams leaderboard. See you later, ladies. Bye.